Hi, this is Nathan coming to you with another music video. A lot of people are really excited about the new Mulan trailer that I got to see while seeing The Rise of Skywalker, another great movie. But Disney is doing a lot of these remakes and a lot of us were wary about this, um, about this movie because The Lion King was pretty much just a, the exact repeat replica of the first one. Some of the other ones haven't been that well made they kind of feel rushed a little bit like they're just trying to pump them out so they can get more money like Lady and the Tramp that one really wasn't as good either a lot of us were worried when they said there wasn't going to be an actual musical and we were all really bummed because there's a lot of really good songs in there that everyone loves and it's just they're iconic like a reflection make a man out of you a girl we're fighting for uh full of just amazing music. And so for music lovers li like myself, I was a little bit worried that it was just going to be a straight on war movie with like in the style of a World War II remake or something. But after seeing the trailer and after uh, looking at the movie, I'm really excited about it and the soundtrack sounds really great. I was listening to Reflection and the original Reflection in the first Mulan movie, they changed it in this trailer and I will be showing that to you on the piano right now. So in the original movie Mulan, the song Reflection went like this. But in the trailer, they changed the beginning of the of the piece. Instead of going right to the five, they went to the flat six, which is modal mixture. Now in music, we have two different types. Um, well, we have multiple different modes, but two of the main ones that composers love to use that you've probably heard is major and minor. What composers love to do is they like to mix these modes together. So in the key, which were in the key of A major, um, the original piece stayed in the complete key of A major using these notes only, which is from the A major scale. A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Now what composers like to do is that the majority of the piece can be in A major, but they like to steal notes from the from the parallel minor, which is A minor, so you have notes A is the same, B is the same, then you have a flat 3, so it's just C, then D is the same, E is the same, and then you have regular F, G, and then A. That's the natural harmonic minor scale. Now, most composers, when they play in minor, they use the harmonic minor scale, which instead of the uh, flat seven they use the raise seven just so they can have the uh, leading tone still going to a so instead of they can still have um sort of uh, the last note lead into a and so what mulan does is that instead of going right to the five and then the four they go to the flat six which is f i'll play it again And I really like that. I, I um, I'm always a fan of the flat six just because it always leaves it's sort of like haunting, get um mysterious, and it can even be romantic in a lot of uh, musical contexts. It really just adds to the realism and it adds to the um, just the revamping of the movie like we're not just changing this to live action we're changing the music to something more advanced I feel like but when I kept on hearing it it played it I think at least two times in the trailer after a while I um, I wanted more from it um, so if you listen to it again After it goes to the flat six, you kind of want it to go 
even lower because it goes from the regular um, the regular six down to the flat six, and then it just goes back to the flat six. And this is where we come into our problem because if we keep going down chromatically, you know, we want it to keep going down. This is what happens. That sounds too resolute because the reason why the flat six sounds so good is because it's leading towards the five. Um, in the key of A major, the E is the fifth scale tone, and um, in common musical chord progressions, um, the E chord goes to A, five goes to one. It's just how we feel music should be resolved most of the time. So you have A, and then when you have an E chord, you want to go to A. You know, the five. And so, a lot of times to hold tension in pieces, we like to use notes that lead to the five because the music's not over. As you know, there's another verse. You know, there's an, another verse to go to. Um, so, we want notes to lead to the five, which is why the flat six works so well in this. Because you want it to go to the. You want it to go to this note just feels resolved um, so you can't get there too early because then the tension leaves um, which is what I mean technically the first uh, version of uh, reflection goes now that piece um, changes the tension differently it doesn't go to a flat six trying to go to five it instead goes to five but then goes to the four which is just a beautiful alternative because the four chord is so well used in this. Um, yep, and that goes to. But the composer didn't want to do a standard four progression, he wanted to mix it up, which I love. Um, and so we get the flat six, and we can't go to the five because that's too firm, that's too final. Um, but if we stand the flat six, which is what happens in the trailer, it feels like we don't go anywhere. And this is a problem that we have in westernized tempered music. Um, in western music, we have 12 notes um, ranging from C to B all of them arranged chromatically and throughout time we've tempered the system so that we have the same 12 notes over and over again um so in our westernized system we have 12 notes in other um cultures and other music such as in uh indian music they have um quarter tones we only have half tones so in order to explain what those are um a whole tone uh, would be a whole step apart, which is C to D. Whole step. A half step, or a chromatic step, would be to play the note in between C and D. And that's how we, you know, that's how we tempered our system. However, in India, they have these things called quarter tones, notes that are in between our tempered system that we can't actually play, which is why the composer couldn't continuously flatten the note to keep going to the five, because there's only one note between the six and five, and that's the flat one that he already used. And so in, in uh, other places of the world, especially Eastern music, they have notes in between these notes. Um, so if we were to have this on a piano, it would be C, then a note between C and C sharp, then C sharp, a note between C sharp and D, and then D. In which we can actually play that on some instruments if we wanted to, which I'm going to go to my violin and show you. And so there are a lot of musicians in the Western world that deal with quarter tones, Jacob Collier being one of them. A piece written, I think around a month ago, he modulated to the key of a half sharp major. And so there's ways to train your ear to hear that. And so um, if I were to play the piece 
Um, the way it was performed in the trailer, it would sound like this. And so the violin is a different instrument than the piano. The piano is tempered. The notes are the notes are uh, where they are. They're in tune, and you can't change them. You can't go out of tune with the piano unless the entire piano goes out of tune. It's set. It's firm. You press the key, and out comes the note. With the violin, it's a different because um, there aren't any. Um, d uh, direct places to press your notes. You have to really um, know where to place them and be in tune. So if I were to play a B natural, I could play it a little bit lower, a little bit even lower, lower, even lower, even lower. And so there's a lot of different um, positions you can play between B and A. And so with this ability, I can show you how I would have liked the reflection music to sound. I would have liked it to have the flat six, and then I'd like I would have liked to hear the quarter tone between the five and the flat six. So this is how it would have sounded, and you will hear the increased tension um, throughout uh, the piece now. And so, with the ability to change the positioning of my fingers, um, I was able to play the I was able to play the flat six, and even go lower between the flat six and the five to this note. With that ability you get the result of what I would like to hear. But because the trailer was using a piano, you can't manipulate the notes with the piano because the piano is tempered and it's in place. And so that is one of the wide ranges of quarter tones and using music and instruments from the Eastern world um, so that you can uh, sort of get even more attention than you hear now. And I know a lot of people, to the untrained ear, the chromaticism was so close, just as close that as you can get it, but um, there are notes that are even closer that can open up the world of music, and I, I believe that in the future we should diverse our musicality from our western tonal system. I think we should definitely start pulling these resources like Jacob Collier is doing from other cultures to really get these new vibrant sounds that the western ear hasn't heard yet just to have a variety of music, uh, diverse our musical ear, um, and to increase our musicianship um, as, as musicians in general. Thank you.